So today I'm going to be presenting on uh, a project that I did last semester, and this was done a, as a redesign of the current Google sites that they have, which is just a website builder that I did in uh, Professor Twidell's interface class. So um, the current state of website builders. Um, initially, it was either you pay to have a website built for you back in the day, or you build it yourself, and it's not an easy thing to do. Uh, now, more recently, it's changed. We can see right here that you have you know, Wix, WordPress, Google Sites, all these places that are there to allow people to do this. Um, they're, they're templated or they're a little bit more refined for people that have a little more background in it, but they are not perfect. There's a lot of areas where we can make changes and make it better. Uh, the first thing is you have two camps. There's going to be the simplistic camp where we have these templates that are way too constraining. Uh, there's the other end of it, which is going to be a little bit more complex, but it's not necessarily the most welcoming to people who either want to learn or people that already know, in which case they might want to just build the thing themselves. Um, because of this, I propose a redesign. Now, the redesign is basically based on the idea that you have a single tool that you can work on to put elements on your site. You have a blank site and you move from there. Uh, we have five sections to this and then um, some other things that are going to be similar, uh, that are going to be related to the actual tool itself. Uh, the first section is gadgets. This is just going to be sort of more complex things you might want to put on there. So something that's not going to be like a text box or a picture or something like that. Uh, the next thing we have are the basic elements. This is going to be click and drag an area and say I want to type something in here and it's there. It's on the paper. Um, the website, I guess. Um, and then the third one's going to be theme. So the idea here is that we can work on uh, the aesthetics of something as small as a UI element or as large as the entire site or a page or a section. Uh, finally, we have the code where if you want to take a deeper look and you want to make tweaks or build new things, you can click on whatever it is or an area uh, or a page and you can look at what the actual code is so you can modify it as you think. Or if you want to just see what's look, what it looks like, you can move from there. The final thing which you guys can see at the center is um, the area where you can query questions that would be similar to what you would see on Stack Overflow or you can look at the gadgets that other people have made in the community. This is hopefully leveraging, leveraging some of the similar uh, community things that uh, Google has done in the past years with Android. So uh, instead of going into detail about all those and how it does, uh, what I'd like to do is give you guys a couple of personas and run through those and see how it's going to affect these people. Uh, the first person we have here is Molly, uh, who is a young professional who also likes to paint as a hobby. Now she's hoping to bring it to the next level, um, and she wants to be able to interact with it online. She wants to do a website. Um, she has friends that also want to do this, but the only issue is that none of them really have much background in building these kind of things. They don't, they don't program, they don't have the language necessarily. Um, she's looked into some of these templating sites, but she doesn't like the boxy feel of some of these things, and it, it takes a little bit too much time with some of that. So the real question is how can, how can Google Webs help her? Well, the first thing that I said uh, earlier was there are going to be other things other than the tool. Um, it's important to make sure that the right things come with the right person at the right time. Uh, in order to do this and filter out the right information for, uh, for Molly, what we want to do is ask her a couple of questions that are going to be goal-oriented. And based off the goals that she has and what we're seeing with other people in the community, we're going to give her the information that she needs and support her and guide her, rather than giving her a very, very constrained, structured uh, atmosphere. Additionally, we're going to make it really simple for her to quickly and easily make changes to the website and also do it in a way where she sees that how it's happening immediately rather than having to go sift through pages or go uh, back and forth to see what it, she's doing and how the actions are influencing her website. Um, as you can see right here, it's a little hard to see uh, in person, hopefully online you guys can see this, but we have the gadgets, uh, the gadgets uh, tab open for the, the site. Now, when you click on one of the four or the center, it's going to open up like this and you can see a name and a description of what the gadget is and you can just click and drag it onto the website. Very simple interaction, but you can use more complex elements. Next, we have Tom. Uh, now, Tom has a little bit less background than Molly even. He, however, is a home designer. He wants to, he loves the aesthetics of things and the landscape of his website needs to reflect that. He has a heavy attention to detail and he makes a lot of changes. He wants control over the website that he's making aesthetically and he wants to feel comfortable that it's not necessarily going to be what everyone else has. So how can we help Tom? Well, this is where the next section of the tool comes in. Uh, we want to be able to click on a piece 
a website of the website or a page of it or the entire website itself and just be able to see immediately what colors he's doing, what the text is, what the font is, and be able to interact with it as quickly as possible. Again, this is helpful because while he has this open and he's looking at the website, he can see the changes that he's making right as they're happening. Additionally, if he wants to, he can share those things uh, with the community, but we'll get to that a little bit later. Uh, finally, we have Lindsay. Now, Lindsay has background in coding, and if she wanted to, she could make this website herself from scratch. However, there are other instances in which she's going to want to interact with the community, and that's where Google comes in, because we have a very strong community uh, of users and coders. Um, she wants to be able to showcase her talents as well, in the same way that she does on GitHub and she does on Stack Overflow. So, how can we help her? Well, we want her to be able to choose items and change and learn code as she's, as she's going through it. So she wants to be able to click on something in the same way that we would do with themes, but also uh, see what's happening in the back end, make changes, submit things, and share it with the community. Uh, if you look over here on the left, this is what it would look like after you clicked on something uh, to show you it. Um, and then if, if other people want to find what Lindsay's put together, all they have to do is click on the setup button and then it'll show up similar to the traditional Google search. So all in all, hopefully we're able to bring together a larger community and not only give everyone what they need, but allow them to change who they are and advance who they are with their abilities and their skills. Or we just want to allow them to have more control over the website that they're making. <laughs> so the question changes from what's the best website builder to use to what website you want to use. And that's what we're hoping the, the goal of this is in the first place. So, thank you.